How is it? How is it? How is it? This is the fat iteration reviews. The trench sweeper. Oh, war crime steak. Okay, what the fuck? It looks like a shotgun from the thumbnail. Trench sweeper. Trench sweeper? I never heard of the name of this weapon. I mean, obviously, I'm Louis in India. I don't know shit about uh, weapons. I don't even. I think I've just seen a pistol close from, you know, I held a pistol. Uh, I don't know what it is. I was even 19, 11. I don't remember exactly. Uh, which is a big one with like, a, you know, chrome plated big one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it was 40. I didn't know shit at the time. This is India. Guns are really, you, can, you can't find guns even if you want it. That's how rare it is. But uh, through internet, gaming and all that shit, I know something about gun. I'm guessing, I don't know. And of all the shotgun names I've heard of over the time, I didn't even know fucking Benelli. But I just thought they made bikes, right? I love the, one of the Benelli bikes, uh, four-cylinder, six. It has basically a Yamaha six engine. Uh, when I, then I realized it's a famous, John Wick movie has that. Uh, you know, they actually has this like whole segment. Do you want an M4 Benelli? Like, what the fuck? Because I was surprised. I never heard of Trend Sweeper either. So that is, that, the, that is the gun's name, right? Trend Sweeper. So I'm guessing it sweeps trenches and it's a shotgun, makes sense, spread and sing. So there was a shotgun basically in well, World War II, is it World War I? That in trenches were like insane. Okay. I love factorism for things like this. I don't know how to pinpoint it, but some topics you just choose feel so factorism. It's like if you can, if you just read a title to me and I, I could just guess if it's factorism video or not at this point. So this is going to be interesting. Let's watch it. Remember, people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, that way I know which type of videos to react to more. I've been doing this military type of thing. I don't know how to say it. Military, weapons, equipment, defense, anything basically. Uh, I've, I've been watching factorization videos mostly. Uh, then I started like task and purpose. Uh, I've seen mustard videos basically. Uh, real engineering, which is really good. A uh, good channel. On, I'm pretty sure I've found another channel uh, like real engineering who talks about this different weapon. But yeah, let's watch this one. I have Instagram now. If you want to follow me, link in the description, I guess. Uh, yeah. Today we're talking about the most effective firearm of all time. This episode shout out goes to Big Mike's Little Donuts outside of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Grunt has had a love affair with the 12 gauge shotgun since World War I, where it was standard issue. As well oh, 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 hold up there. What is the difference between, uh, I, I know about the wires, gauge system in wires. The smaller the gauge, the thicker the wire. So there are two, I remember, like 12 gauge and 20 gauge. I'm going to assume that 12 gauge is like the bigger ammo, right? Uh, wire mentality still goes here, right? I'm pretty sure gauge is like imperial system, so it I don't know, it must be similar. But because of uh, Fallout New Vegas, I know they're like two type of uh, things. As well as World War II and Korea. Then in Vietnam, they tried to quit making a standard issue because it wasn't lethal enough, at which point it became a standard practice for most grunts to actually bring their own personal shotguns from home and use that instead. What because the well, fuck? when the bushes start talking, you might as well hit all the bushes at once. If you don't know what I mean by that, I'll explain. Shotguns don't shoot bullets, they shoot shells. There's a lot of different... Yeah, buckshot. Buckshot? Yeah, buckshot is the cells, right? Buckshot is the cells. Slug is the one thick ammo. I didn't know that shit. The slug is an actual thick fucking ammo, like gauge, 12 gauge thickness ammo. Like, I don't know if I would, if I would be frightened or not because I'm guessing it would be slower compared to any of the smaller ammos because that's how it would go. But imagine that, like shotgun just fucking putting a hole with that shit. <laughs> I still remember, I don't know which, I think it was like stalker, clear sky. Where you use like slug ammo and headshot people. I think their head would completely, you know, come off or something from the just I don't, I don't remember exactly. Types of shells, but today we're talking about double up buckshot, which is this right here. It's basically nine ball bearings that when fired, they go fucking everywhere. It's like having nine guys with muskets fire in a general direction all at once. As you can imagine, having a ball bearing cannon would be extremely effective in close quarters. That is why they were originally issued in World War I, because World War I was primarily fought inside of trenches, which was an extremely narrow pathway in the Oh my god, this was, uh, also, I'm pausing too much, but I remember from Borderlands, like, there are some shotguns that are like, damage multiplied by nine, assuming nine pellets. There were also like nine multiplied by six or five, so there are different type of box shots. Is that it? Like different type of pallets in it. The ground. Now, World War One was also extremely brutal because it was the first time the bad guys has ever brought things like flamethrowers and mustard gas to yeah, the world stage. Yeah, I said that many times. Now, it's times. also worth mentioning that World War One started in 1914, but America didn't officially get involved until 1917. Because what? Again, don't want to post too much, but I've said that many times that World War One, even though it wasn't as fucked up as World War Two, it was fucked up because a lot of first things were introduced. From tanks, grenades, mustard gas, flamethrower. It was like the shell shock became like that was the thing of the World War One. Like shell shock later on, we know as PTSD. But that is some insane shit. 
Well, the number one seed in the tournament bracket always gets a buy the first round. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Winchester Model 1897 12-gauge shotgun, and it's War Crime Consigliere, the Model 1917 bayonet. Oh, Winchester. Which apparently, they went fucking Danny Trejo design. Now, this particular shotgun is very special because it's only the second pump-action shotgun ever made, and it did not incorporate a safety what feature that about? is known as a trigger disconnect. Now, a trigger disconnect only is what two makes pump-action shotguns out there. Trigger every time to fire the shotgun. And since this particular shotgun is lacking that, you can just hold the trigger down and every time you pump it, what it fires. Fuck? Meaning that you can fire all six shells in a matter of seconds. Now, if you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm telling you that the United States government gave a bunch of 18-year-old young men that hadn't seen women in months a gun whose only destructive capacity was limited by their ability to do this. Needless to say... Imagine the Germans and Austrians, right? Ah, just like with you know, rage eyes and everything, just doing this. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> they really, at this point, I would prefer the other thing than this one, right? If you spray with that, at least I'll live. <laughs> this is so, oh my god, this is so insane. Why wouldn't it like jam? If you just hold the round and just like pump faster, wouldn't that? Wouldn't, isn't that like mechanical limit? Like, if you do it too fast, it would jam or something. Wouldn't that be the key thing? say it was pretty fucking effective now that is a technique <laughs> called slam firing and when you combine the grunts with a gun that can do that it immediately earned nicknames like the trench sweeper the trench broom this thing un-german engineered so many bad guys that they had to claim it was a war crime to use a shotgun these were the same bad guys that were using flamethrowers and chemical warfare so we just kept using them at that point the bad guys started a propaganda campaign claiming that the americans were barbaric and unskilled with a rifle and that's why they would use such a weapon after that didn't work they claimed that if they caught any americans with a shotgun or shotgun shells they would be executed to which the american government basically responded with if now just for what are you playing hockey in that fucking trenches football you're trying to kill each other if any american get caught with the that is what you're doing anyway it's like in a race saying i will run faster that is what we are here for it's world war like great war they called it it's like every shit like at this point what is a war crime people will do any means necessary even then like how can you like properly made a weapon doesn't matter how creative the weapon is you can't say that that weapon is a war crime what there are rules and regulations now you can't like you can't think about the fucked up thing like chemical warfare like okay there's like thing to but ballistic weapon is ballistic weapons if ballistic weapon is allowed any ballistic weapon is allowed you can't just say like you can't use it. you can't do like what is the rules are we playing a sport right now for clarification it is not and never has been a war crime to use a shotgun but that is almost <laughs> exclusively because the side america was on one if the bad guys had won they would almost certainly make it a war crime because it's only a war crime if you lose in conclusion if you ever go to oh really they would have adapted they would be like i want this shit now but no way they would just a war crime and ban shotgun if they won with an american grunt wielding a war crime stick he's probably going to have a look in his eye like i'm here to eat beef jerky and slam fire this shotgun and if he doesn't have beef jerky you're probably going to be in trouble thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it we have four <laughs> new designs that are shirts and stickers as well as some shirts in women's sizes now available at this link if you're not on tiktok that link is in the video description so until next time thanks for your service quack bang out why was he on tiktok i'm still dumb for it does tiktok pay like youtube pays for any proper creators like him, YouTube is the... I'm glad he, like, he's on this now. But still, it just feels weird. Um, like, TikTok must have, you know, paid. Otherwise, well, like, even, like, what is the MNDI 97 or something? That was, like, Casual Geographic's name in TikTok or something. He started there. And I, yeah, but they are, you know, realizing, like, YouTube is the proper platform. YouTube is weird. It's not Netflix or Prime. It's open, open source in a way. But it's also, like, Netflix and Prime at a, at a point, like, it pays. Ads will pay, right? You know, now premium subscription also closes the gap between like Netflix and this, right? So if like most people do premium, it would be like Netflix because YouTube directly pays these creators rather than ad, right? So yeah. All right, well, that was the best fucking video of all time. Whenever they talk about shotguns, it's like, yeah, and no, I just didn't know. Trench sweeper, that's the fucking name. Like it sweeps trenches. It's like it just, it just goes in, clears the trench and walk out. It's like, damn. I didn't know that in World War One, like a shotgun was a menace. Of all the World War One videos I saw, nobody talked about it. All right, well, if you like, make some new friends, subscribe. Uh, like I said, that way you can help this channel by helping the algorithm. Uh, you know, I'm, I do a lot of different type of videos, so algorithm gets messed up, right? That that's why sometimes my video does well. Then I do certain type of other video, then same type of video I post again, it doesn't do that well because algorithm just leaves it. So if you really like any type of video I do, don't forget to like and subscribe to that top, uh, you know, video and comment.
Yeah, if you want to say something about anything I got wrong or something. And yeah, I have Instagram. Uh, if you want to follow me, I don't do any other social media. YouTube was the only thing. Now I started Instagram. So if you want to follow me, what I'm up to or whatever, yeah, do that, I guess. And uh, in the, find any video in the end card if you want. And I'll see you next time.